Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we will be doing something very interesting. Uh, basically, we will be uh, using the ADB 3450 over uh, an Ethernet connection and uh, using a TCP server, we will be able to get the data directly from the ADB 3450 right into MATLAB. Uh, this is, as you can imagine, a very, very important feature of the ADB 3450. Um, because MATLAB can be used to analyze data and uh, to simulate and to implement also hardware in the loop testing, which which would be a very interesting thing. So basically, the first thing I am going to do is I am going to go over the the process of of how how I have managed to 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 do this. So uh, the first step was actually to uh, write a Python script uh, in order to be able to run a, a, a TCP server on the the ADP3450. So uh, basically, this is the script. Um, what it does is it opens uh, a TCP socket. Uh, here is the server address on this port. And uh, basically, this is the code where uh, we are setting up our uh, TCP socket. Now, um, it is important to connect your ADP3450 either to a router or else through Wi-Fi to the same network you have in your home or in your office or in your lab, wherever this may be. Uh, this presents the advantage that you do not necessarily have to have your ADP3450 next to you to, to get the data. In fact, this, this opens a lot of doors because if you are trying to test the system, which you do not have any PC next to, you can uh, put the ADP3450 next to it, hook it up as you wish, and uh, obviously you can get the data from uh, from the ADP3450 using this this method. So basically here, what we, what what the functionality is, uh, as a general description, is that in MATLAB we're going to have a variable where, where we can set the number of samples we want to get from the ADP. Um, uh, we send that number uh, over to the TCP from MATLAB to the ADP 3450. Uh, the ADP 3450 then calls a function um, to open an, an oscilloscope input and read the number of samples that, that you have asked for. So uh, basically here, uh, the program is waiting for a connection. Once uh, we have connected, we will go into this try. Once uh, data is received, we will go into this while loop. Um, we get the data. We uh, put it here. We are formatting the data. Uh, times 100, uh, what I have done is that in my MATLAB code, I have uh, made just one variable in order to be able to be transmitted in one single 8-bit packet. Uh, so it's from 0 to, to 55. Uh, it multiplies it by 100 and it passes it to, to, the, to the function, which is this function right here, which, which will give us back the samples from the ADP3450. Um, uh, so basically, uh, here and here also, we are setting the variable for, for the samples, which is this one right here. Uh, this function, you can see it right here. This is basically um, a slightly modified version of the example you can find on the download of, uh, of waveforms. Uh, it is called, if I'm not mistaken, analogrecord.py. It's this one, yes. It's a slightly modified version of this one. And uh, basically, I have put it in a Python function right here, and it returns the, the samples. So um, basically, once we have called this one, we're going to get the samples back. What the program is going to be doing now is it's going to be recording them both in, inside the text file. It will save them on your USB drive. I will go through that a bit later. And also, it will uh, send them to, over to the, through the serial terminal and over the TCP, so we can receive them from MATLAB. So, besides the fact that we are receiving them from MATLAB, we are also sending them over the serial terminal and also 
to save them to record these in, in, a, in a CSV file. Um, basically, here is is this is what what we are doing to print the 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 data. Uh, you can notice the way that uh, we are using the the data types here. It is it was uh, quite a challenge to get the data types right between Python and MATLAB, etc., etc. So basically, this is the first part. This this Python script we will be running on the ADP. I will show you exactly how. Uh, we need also on the same USB drive this function. And now I will be going through the script, the MATLAB script. So uh, basically, uh, the script starts by initializing a TCP client uh, with this uh, with this IP address, which is the IP address of the server which is running on on the ADP. I will go through the process of uh, of checking your IP address on the ADP a bit later. Uh, we're setting an input buffer size for thirty thousand samples. And uh, this is where we're going to put the number of samples. So as you can see, this is going to be times times 100. OK, this is divided by 100. So if we want 1,000 samples, we will write 10, because that will be multiplied by 100. Uh, we are opening the connection to the server, and we are transmitting the this character, which is the the, the number of samples we want. Uh, we will pause. We'll wait for the for the ADP to get because at this time the ADP is uh, reading the samples. And here, this is the process which which is basically reading from the TCP and uh, basically modifying the data because uh, the data is being transmitted. Remember that the ADP uh, functions in Python they return floating point numbers. These are 32 bit floating point numbers. So what I have done in the Python script is I have split these floating point numbers in uh, four different bytes. So basically, the Python script on the ADP will send four different bytes, which is the 32 bit 8 times 4 floating point number, and then a terminator, which is the backslash n character, the new line character. And uh, this part is where it's it's formatting this, and this is putting them in a in a column vector one after the other and here is where we are plotting the the this data that we have received and this is where we're closing and and clearing the the tcp connection so that is quite relatively simple the challenge was here to get the data types correct and to manage to get the data to work uh, these uh, files will be available to you so you can uh, edit as you please and run your own examples so now what we will be doing is we will be opening waveforms so let's assume that we have everything connected so we have the adp 3450 connected to uh, to our router or via wi-fi connection and uh, we have a usb connection for now on the adp 3450 maybe you go next to the, your adp with a laptop or something uh, like this so we will open waveforms and we will switch on the ADP3450. This is the waveforms. So we will wait for it to detect waveforms. The ADP3450. Okay. And here we, we have detected the ADP. So what we will immediately do is uh, go to boot and make sure it is on Linux. Go ahead, apply and reboot. And uh, waveforms for now we can close. So we go to TerraTerm, um, uh, the select the correct COM port, set up serial port. It is important we have our serial port at 115200. That is the baud rate that Linux will be communicating with our PC. So uh, the login is always digilent and the password is always digilent and uh, like this we are logged in. So uh, what I have done uh, prior to this is that I have got my uh, my USB drive, which is this one, and right now it is empty. It is connected to my PC and it is empty. So uh, basically, 
we have to put the following files. So basically, this is uh, the the Python script that I have shown you. This is the Python script with the uh, function to run the data acquisition. And this is a Python script which uh, we need to get all this running. So uh, basically, I will simply eject, eject this drive. It is important to always eject your drives so we do not damage our drives. And there we can see that uh, the ADP has detected our, our pen drive. So basically, we will run the following commands. Uh, you will also have these following commands attached to this video tu tutorial. It is asking us once again for the password. We give it digilent. That is fine. Now we will be mounting the USB drive. This is very important. We are going to the directory of where this drive has been mounted. And now we can run our Python script. Um, however, what I will do first is so we will have uh, an idea. Is I'm going to, I have also uh, an analog discovery pro 5250, which is an amazing tool. And uh, I have connected it directly to the first input of the ADP3450. And using waveforms, I will be generating a one kilohertz sine wave. So we will have uh, an example, a plot that we can see on MATLAB, right? So basically, as you can see, this is my ADP5250. Uh, and uh, what I will do is I will open the wave gen and I will make one kilohertz sine wave. We can go for to volts peak to peak and we'll run. So that is, remember, connected directly to the first input of the ADP3450. So I will leave that running. So always keep in mind that we have that running. So we will use now the sudo python3 command to start our, our, our Python script. Okay, so the Python script is now telling us that is, it is start, that starting the uh, the TCP client here, the TCP server, and it is waiting for, for a connection. So all we have to do now is open our MATLAB and simply run this code. Okay. Right now it is receiving the data, as you can see. And here we have the plot that of the data that we have just received. Uh, as you can see, um, given the number of samples, we have 1,000 samples here. That is 10 times 100, which is correct. And uh, we have the data here. Additionally, um, maybe if you want to see the data, you have uh, the column vector here with all the data listed on, on that one. So basically, from here, we can do basically anything that we want with this data. Uh, we can also rerun the program as much times as we want. For example, if I change the frequency to, say, 200 hertz, and we rerun this program, we should receive the, the updated waveform. And as you can see, there is our updated waveform. So basically, we can run as many times that we want. So basically, the idea here is that you don't necessarily have to have the ADP3450 next to you. It can be in another room connected to some other system. And you can analyze how, how you want the, the data from coming from the ADP3450. This is, this is very advantageous for, for quite a number of reasons. Obviously, we can modify the this is just a simple example we can mod modify any anything we want we can send other parameters such as trigger levels such as uh, frequencies to output to generate waveforms we this is just the way that we are commu communicating so we can use this however we want we can modify the, the script to run other other uh, other examples uh, as you can see here on the terminal, it will always uh, print the data. Obviously, here the data is just uh, jargon. We will not, will not understand anything because of the way that we are printing. 
However, here when we have some some other information such as generating wave sine wave uh, starting oscilloscope, etc., etc., and it is also telling us the number of samples that we have requested. Uh, remember, we can simply change this number, for example, five, so we get 500 samples, and we can run it once again, and uh, we should be getting another 500 samples now. And here we can see the 500 samples that we have received. Uh, here the issue is that uh, maybe we had some samples from the plot before, which is getting into our plot. So basically, this is this is the the idea. Um, we can modify both the scripts how we want. Uh, one other thing that I forgot how to show you is uh, how to check your uh, your IP address. So I will be going through that um, immediately. So basically. Uh, we need to know our our current IP address on 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 the HP three four five zero. So if I open the script again, here we have this uh, server address. So this is important to be our own address. Okay. So basically, what we have to do is very simple. We switch on the HP three four five zero. Once again, we open Terraterm. We set the baud rate to the correct one once again. And this is asking us once again for the login. We go digilent, we go digilent. So baby, basically, if we go IP ADDR, this should give us our IP address, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and our IP address is right here. 192.168.0.124. This may be different for you, so it is important that whatever we do is uh, we use this IP address, which is the ADP 3450's address, in the code here 192.168.0.124, and you can keep the same port. Then it is also very important to use the same IP address right here. Okay, and also the same part. I hope that you find you found this interesting and that maybe you can use the information and the code, both the Python script and the MATLAB script to to your advantage. And uh, maybe we, I will have the opportunity to to continue further on this. Maybe applying projects where where we might. Uh, send back and forth data using the TCP client and server from the ATP to MATLAB and maybe we can also try to 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 generate outputs to receive more data maybe to receive data from other inputs maybe the digital inputs and maybe also we try to to get a constant stream of data so we can run a hardware on the loop system where we can test while the system is running Thank you very much.